Okay, a quick one today because I'm tired and he has a lot of moving parts. So I put the Feather Star on the li- on the list. The list. The if you don't know what the list is, it's a list where I put a bunch of sea creatures to make into more people. And the Feather Star was on the list because I looked for some animals with superpowers because I didn't know what to draw and the feather star showed up because they can regenerate their arms uh, and I was going to do a different pose for him and then I realized feathers have a lot to do and the, the tentacles is it tentacles tendrils what are they i don't know but th- they're confusing and i literally looked at uh, the reference picture and went okay this is this is this looks aesthetically pleasing this is exactly the way that the leggies are going to look or, or tail whatever the whatever it is and we are sketching it And then we will do the line art at some point. <laughs> I feel like drawing an octopus might be easier, but I haven't tried. Well, I have drawn an octopus, but like um, Ursula. Drawing Ursula might be easier than trying to draw sea feather. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Never mind. But um, yeah, so he has the the feathery tendrils and I'm not sure actually how big these are uh, because I could go a large one or a small one but I know that the jellyfish that I haven't drawn yet are small ones but maybe the what the fuck are they called wait a sec feather stars feathers um, how big um, he is because I'm not sure I can have him feather star sized or I can have him more like closer to a humanoid size um, or both they could vary in size I'm not sure an actual mermaid m- m- merman with a mer person with long hair like the stereotype finally and um i'll finish this tomorrow not today (laughs) too too many (laughs) too too much anyway have a good day